let's add the fractions one third plus three fourths. Here's how you do it. What we need to do when we add fractions, we need to find a common denominator. So we need to get the same denominator here because then we just add the numerators and we'll have our answer. I think what I'm gonna do is take three and multiply it by four and then take four and multiply it by three because both of those will give me 12. So let's take four times three and then three times four here. But we can't just multiply by four here on our denominator. We also need to multiply the numerator by four. That's because four over four, it's one. Four divided by four is one. We're not changing the value, just the way it's represented. Over here, we multiplied by three. So let's multiply the numerator by three. And now four times one is four. Four times three is 12. Plus we have three times three is nine and four times three is 12. So we can just add the numerators together now, four plus nine, that's 13. And then when we add fractions, when the denominator is the same, we just keep it the same. So one third plus one fourth, that's 13 twelfths. Now this is an improper fraction because the numerator, it's larger than the denominator. We can change it to a mixed number. 12 goes into 13, one times 12, that's 12, and we have one left over. So we keep the 12 here, and that's our mixed fraction. You can check it. One times 12 is 12. 12 plus one is 13. That's what we have here. We just kept that the same. That's it. It's Dr. B adding one third plus one fourth. The answer, 13 twelfths, or you could call it one and one twelfth. Thanks for watching.